So I have my real Bottega sunglasses in my fake Bottega bag. I know. Hey guys, it's Sarah. Welcome back to my channel and welcome to today's video. We're going to be doing a summer what's in my bag edition. I feel like it's been a while since I've done one of these what's in my bag videos and I love doing these. I know how much you guys love them. So we're going to get into what I'm keeping in my bag this summer. But before we jump into the video, I just want to welcome anyone who's new to my channel. My name is Sarah. I create content on fashion, beauty, and lifestyle. I would love it if you subscribe, hit that notification bell. And for everyone watching, make sure to like this video and leave me a comment down below. Let me know what bag you're carrying this summer or what summer essential you keep in yours but let's go ahead and get into it I'm actually also gonna make this kind of a review video I just got this bag in not that long ago this is a dupe for the Bottega Veneta cassette brick bag I fell in love with the brick bag I think that it is so cute it's like so chic I mean this is an exact dupe this is basically exactly what the real Bottega one looks like I got mine off of Etsy there's definitely a few sellers that have this so if you guys are interested in getting one I will leave a link to the one that I got as well as a couple other similar sellers down below but I am obsessed with the style I think it's been like the perfect summer style first off I love the off-white when it comes to white designer bags I basically would probably only get dupes I would be scared to buy like a real designer bag in white and then just have it get so dirty and thrashed okay sorry guys my light died so I charged it for a little bit I forgot my train of thought but basically I think the point I was getting at is I would buy the like real brick bag in any other color except for white and I wanted white for the summertime so I went with the dupe that way I don't worry about a real white designer bag getting thrashed but I think that the design of this is spot on honestly if I saw someone carrying this I could barely tell the difference personally but it's squared off just like the real brick Bottega bag again from a distance I really could not tell the difference maybe close up I'm sure that there's like some Bottega specific finishes on the real thing that this one doesn't have but for looks purposes it's close enough it has gold hardware gold zipper these like gold adjusters or whatever and right now I have it on the longest setting you can make it shorter than this but this is truly meant to just be a shoulder bag so it is meant to sit right here again I can make it shorter if I wanted it to sit up higher but I don't know I think that the long is the perfect length and then inside the bag it is so roomy you guys will obviously sorry Leo's in here if you guys hear breathing or bouncing but you guys will obviously see that as I start pulling things out of here it's kind of like a Mary Poppins bag that's what I love about the style is that it looks so compact it looks so small but it really actually carries a lot of stuff my only drawback with this particular bag I don't know if the real bag has it but there is no inside pocket in this it's all one compartment in here so if you have smaller pieces you have to kind of dig for them or just like maybe organize them into a pouch so that they're easier to find but for the most part I think everything I'm carrying is pretty significantly sized so overall I really love this bag I highly recommend it if you're looking for a cute petite summer bag that you can easily dress up and take out like for a night out or a nice dinner but still looks good with casual outfits this is such a good bag it's so easy to style it looks so chic but it also holds a ton of stuff so let's go ahead and get into what it holds the first caveat that I do want to give is that what I have in my bag right now is give or take which means it's give or take some of these items just depends on where I'm going that day and what I need to fit in here typically instead of the cases for the sunglasses that are in here I'll put the sunglasses in like a smaller case that way I can fit this camera in here so this camera I'm using the Canon M200 with a 22 millimeter pancake lens on it that will typically fit in here like I said I'll switch out the sunglasses that I have in here currently to a softer case so that everything will fit together right now I do have the hard case in here but just know the camera and the sunglass case would not fit in here together typically usually I'd have to pick between one or the other but as far as what's really currently in here the first thing is my phone I have the Google Pixel 7 and what's significant about my phone is that I do have my pop wallet on the back this is my main wallet that I use I just keep my ID and my most essential debit cards in here typically if I'm just running out the door and I don't want to bring a bag or anything I just grab my phone so for the most part this is kind of my go-to wallet but I do have an actual wallet that I keep in my bag but I mean this phone is like a pretty decent size and it does fit very comfortably in this bag and you guys can see I did update my background is a split between Spartacus and Leo. But yeah, that's the first item I keep in my bag. It's off and on how often I have this in my bag because a lot of the time I'll throw this in my pocket if I have a pocket on the outfit I'm wearing. But it's like the number one essential. The next item in here is the sunglasses that I was talking about. So I have my real Bottega sunglasses in my fake Bottega bag. I know. But these are, they're like, they're square pilot aviators, I think. 
So I got mine off of Forward. They're priced a little bit more affordable off of Forward, but you can also find them on Revolve. But this is what they look like. You guys see me wear them on the vlogs all the time. They're my go-to sunglasses. I'm obsessed with them. I have the hardest time wearing other sunglasses, but I've been wearing these for the last few years. I know that designer sunglasses are an investment and clearly I have gotten my money's worth out of them. Honestly, name a vlog where I'm not wearing these. I like live in these sunglasses. So they were definitely well worth the money for me. My only drawback on the sunglasses is this case. It's just so bulky, hence why I would have to choose between the case or my camera depending on what else I have in here but overall I cannot recommend these sunglasses enough get them they're gonna be your go-to for sure then the next item I have in here it's a summer essential like essential I have my portable fan which I'm gonna go ahead and turn on because it's hot in here it's like 7 30 and I'm so hot right now give me a second to cool off. But yeah, I got this after Cabo last year when I went for Michelle's Bachelorette. One of the girls on the trip had this and she let me borrow it and I immediately went home and ordered one. I love this. It's like my favorite thing ever. It has two settings. This one's the higher one now. Ugh, and it just feels so lovely. And the battery on this is actually pretty good. I don't have to charge it too often. Also though, I don't like leave it running for like minutes on end. So I think that helps, but if I just need like to cool off really quickly, I just use this for a couple minutes and I just like, I feel so much better. And it is pretty powerful for how strong it is. So cannot recommend it enough. I also use this too when I'm doing my makeup, when the temperature is like higher in here and I'm having a hard time getting my makeup to set in between steps because I'm just sweating and stuff is staying wet and everything like that. I'll just go in with this fan and kind of like dry off the layers of makeup in between so I can keep going. So that is another plus of this fan again. I cannot recommend it enough. You need to have this in your bag during the summertime. The next item I have in my bag is another summer essential and it's the Super Goop Resetting Spray. I always carry some kind of SPF spray in my bag at all times during the summer so that I can reapply. I just, I wanna always protect my face from the sun. I'm trying to prevent aging as much as possible and making sure that your face is always protected from the sun is the most significant thing. So this one is SPF 40. It is my favorite SPF setting spray. I like to use an SPF setting spray on my face to reapply because especially if I'm wearing makeup, I don't want to use actual sunscreen, then it messes up my makeup, it's sliding around everywhere. So it's easier to use a setting spray that is meant for makeup. I just spray it on and it just dries as is and it also kind of resets my makeup if my makeup is starting to get cakey or something throughout the day. In addition to reapplying SPF, it'll also make my makeup look brand new. Then next I have a lipstick in here. I just found this in my car the other day and I totally forgot about these and I've just been carrying it everywhere with me now because I forgot how much I love this. This is the Natasha Denona I Need a New lipstick and this one is in the color Jennifer so here's what it looks like it's like a nudie brownie pink I'll go ahead and apply it a little bit but it's like the perfect neutral it goes with like any makeup look I have a little bit of lip liner on and then just put that in the center and it gives me kind of like a powdier effect I love it like I said it goes with literally any makeup look so if I forget to put lipstick on with my makeup look I can just have this in my purse throw it on and I'm good to go in the summertime I generally don't really like to wear a lot of liquid lipsticks I like my lips to feel a lot softer so carrying a lipstick with me that will go with anything is a must for me then of course I've also got a gloss in here and again this gloss basically goes with anything. This is the Buxom Full On Plumping Lip Cream. This is just like a classic product. Everyone loves this. I know everyone uses this in White Russian, which I do have White Russian, but it's just like a little bit too light for me versus this color that I have. This is Hot Toddy. Again, this is kind of like a neutral brownie pink. I'll apply it over Jennifer. You guys can see. It's just like a perfect nude if you have a little bit of a tan on you. Just a good neutral nude lip gloss that you can throw on if you're wearing makeup, if you're not wearing makeup. Basically, literally goes with anything. And besides the fact that these are plumping, I also like the fact that these aren't too sticky. I always expected this formula to be like really, really sticky, but it's actually pretty smooth. I don't feel like I have a thick lip gloss caked on, which is something that sounds like a sensory nightmare when it's hot. So this is the perfect one to carry in my bag. Next item I have in here is my wallet. Still carrying my YSL card holder. I, again, I know I say this every single what's in my bag, but I probably will not get another wallet for as long as this one is holding itself together, which it still is. It still looks brand new. I mean, there's like barely any wear and tear on this. It was definitely worth the money, or should I say it was worth Trevor's money because it was his birthday gift to me, but I love it. It's like 
my favorite wallet I, I can't imagine switching to another wallet honestly this is just perfect for what i want i want a more compact wallet which is so funny because i used to be like a long wallet girl but now i'm just like make it as small and efficient and compact as possible i just i don't want it to take up a lot of space so we've got the pouch in here for coins and cash and then the back has a bunch of card slots so like i said i do carry a wallet in addition to the pop socket the pop socket just only has the essentials but then the wallet has all of my other cards hi buddy We've got a visitor. Can you hear? Oh, there he goes. <laughs> then next in here, I have another lip product. This one is my current favorite lip gloss formula. Don't get me wrong. I really, really, hi, buddy. <laughs> I really, really love the Buxom one, but this one's my absolute favorite. This is the Tower 28 Shine On Lip Jelly, and this one is in the color Cashew. I'm just gonna swatch this one since I already put the Buxom one on, but. This is what the color looks like, just like a sheer pinky color. It's so pretty on, and again, this formula is so comfortable. It's a little bit thinner and a little bit more moisturizing than the Buxom one, which is why I like it a little bit more. They are pretty tight for me, but this one just wins out just a little bit more. And I also really love the packaging on it. I think that it's so cute. It feels kind of retro. I don't know why. Something about this packaging just reminds me of like 2000s lip glosses. But if you haven't tried this Tower 28 lip gloss, again, Another one that I just like highly recommend. Then we're getting to the end of it. I have a tampon in here in case of emergencies. Pretty self-explanatory if you're a lady. And then I also have a nail file in here. If you noticed, my nails are breaking. <laughs> I had to like let my nails grow out a little bit more because my regular nail girl was on vacation and then I ended up not being able to wait for her. So I had someone else do my nails and I feel like she did a pretty good job, but not as great of a job and they're breaking a little bit. So I have a nail file right now because whenever like I have a nail break and I have like a rough edge or something, Thing. It's just like a sensory nightmare for me. So ever since this one broke and I had to like walk around with it for a day I'm now keeping a nail file in my bag that way I can smooth out any rough edges if it happens again Then I also have a perfume in here. This is the YSL Libre Just a little travel perfume just in case I forget to put on perfume or god forbid deodorant running out of the house Especially in the summertime. Oh my god If I forget to put on deodorant I'm always so glad that I have a travel perfume in my bag because I cannot stand the thought of me being smelly So yeah, right now I'm carrying the YSL Libre one I love this scent so much oh, it just it smells like luxury I love I I'm obsessed if you haven't tried this definitely get it I only have this one actually I kind of want to get the big one but also too I just I don't know why I have a hard time spending my money on fragrances I just feel like a hundred dollars for a perfume is I just can't wrap my brain around it so I always get travel perfumes because for me that's just so much more manageable then, of course, I have a hair clip in here. I just, you know, if I need to put my hair up in the summertime and I don't have a way to put my hair up, it's just, it's gonna drive me crazy. If I feel like I need to put my hair up, it means that I'm hot and I'm sweating and I don't wanna feel wet, sweaty hair on my neck or my back. So I keep a hair clip with me. Sometimes if I need extra room, I'll even just like, pop it on the strap like this, you know? But I love this style of hair clip. I showed it in my Amazon favorites video last weekend, but I can't get enough of this style of hair clip. It just, it holds my hair so, so well, better than any other hair clips that I've used. Just something about this design just like really holds it super securely. And it also looks so chic. So I have this to throw my hair up if I just like, I'm doing a casual day at the beach or just out running errands and it looks really nice. And then if I'm out for a nice dinner or like at a nice event and I need to put my hair up, I don't mind putting my hair up in this clip because again, it still looks like it's a little bit dressed up. So if you don't have any of this style of clip in your life, like these metal ones with this specific like design, you need to get them. They're, they're the best. Then next up in my bag, again, if you watch my Amazon favorites video, you already saw this, but gotta mention it because it is really what I keep in my bag. This is a lint roller and if you are a pet parent, get this. Like immediately get this and put it in your bag. This lint roller is absolutely the best. I have a German Shepherd Kelpie mix. He's double coated and he is shedding like crazy because it's starting to get hot and his hair is just on everything. So I keep this lint roller in my bag. It's got this like sticky ball inside and it literally picks up everything from my clothing. There's so many times where like I forgot to lint roll my outfit and I just like don't want to look sloppy or anything like that. And I'll remember last minute I'm already out the door. So I'm always so glad that I have this. Or there's like a lot of the times where, you know, if we take my car 
car. Leo rides in my car the most, so there's constantly hair in my car. I can lint roll myself before we leave, and then we'll get to our destination. And I've got dog hair on me again from him, so I always feel like I just like I need to keep this with me at all times. So it's just a must in my purse, and also too, it is super super easy to clean. All you have to do is wash the ball inside with water. You can actually pop the ball out and just let it dry, and it's just as sticky as the day I bought it. So again, if you're a pet parent or you're just someone who you really like to make sure your clothes always look put together and you hate it when there's lint on you, get this. It's reusable for life, easy to clean, and it's nice and compact and can fit in basically any bag or you could also leave it in your car. Getting down to the last of it, I have hand sanitizer, pretty self-explanatory, especially for me because like in the summertime, I'm constantly going to the beach. We've got OC Fair. I'm going on hikes, things like that. I need to have hand sanitizer on me at all times because I'm just touching a bunch of surfaces. I like to be out and about in the summertime. So hand sanitizer for sure because also too when I'm out and about I usually want to go eat and you can't always rely on everywhere to have a bathroom so for sure always hand sanitizer in my bag then my last item in here is just my clear brow gel this is the elf clear brow and lash mascara I use both sides for my brows because I'm not gonna use clear mascara it just it doesn't really typically do anything for me but yeah I'll use both sides for my brows this is just to like fix them up if you know I'm out and like my brows are bothering me or something like that I'll just kind of like put them in place with this or if I need to retouch my brows this is a great thing to have in my bag these are really inexpensive I think they're like three bucks so I literally have one of these and like every single purse that I rotate between. I mean, this is my main bag. This is my everyday bag. This is my going out bag. This is basically the bag of the moment, but sometimes I'll use like my coach crossbody, depending on the outfit I'm wearing, or I'll use my like Louis Vuitton bum bag dupe, that kind of stuff. And I literally have one of these in every single bag. For me, brows are important. I feel like you can just like not do your makeup or anything, but if you want to feel a little bit pulled together, run some clear gel through your brows and you'll instantly look more awake and more put together. But anyways, besides a receipt for threading my brows, <laughs> that is everything that is in my bag. As you guys can see, this can fit a significant amount of stuff. I mean, really, there were a lot of bulky items in here and everything fit in here so nicely. So if you guys are looking for a good summer bag that, again, like I said, looks petite, looks really chic, but actually fits all of your essentials that you need to survive the summer heat, definitely check out this bag. Again, I will link the one that I have down below as well as other similar sellers. But anyways, that is gonna be it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed this what's in my bag. Don't forget to like this video, leave me a comment down below and subscribe if you haven't already. And I love you guys. Thank you so much again for watching. I will see you very soon again in my next video. Bye.